So the statue behind me is the statue of Queen Anne, and it's in Gloucester Park, on the southern side of Gloucester Park. Now, Queen Anne isn't an especially well-known monarch, but she ruled between 1702 and 1714, and her reign included uh, the Act of Union between England and Scotland, so the creation of Great Britain, really. And um, that was in 1707. Now, the other great event of her reign was the Treaty of Utrecht in 1713. And that took place at the end of the War of the Spanish Succession. And what it saw, for example, was the granting of Gibraltar and Minorca to Britain as part of the treaty. But also importantly for what we're talking about today, it saw the granting to Britain of something called the Spanish Asiento. And the Asiento was a contract granting to Britain a monopoly in the right to sell enslaved people to Spanish possessions in Central and Southern America. The Asiento granted Britain the right to sell 4,800 people a year from Africa to Spanish possessions. And the securing of the Asiento was a major objective of the British state at the time, at the end of the war. Indeed, Queen Anne herself took credit for the securing of the Asiento and boasted about it. So, what the Asiento actually did was massively increase Britain's involvement in the transatlantic slave trade, taking it to one of the prime movers in the slave trade in the, the enslaving and forced relocation of many thousands of people over the course of some decades, perhaps 35,000 people during the terms of the Asiento. So this is a pretty big deal and it's pretty fundamental to the development of the transatlantic slave trade in Britain. So I suppose what we'd say here is were you aware of this? Were you aware that we had a statue of Queen Anne? Were you aware of her involvement in the slave trade? Does it affect how you feel about the statue? Any thoughts or comments, please email to racecommission at gloucester.gov.uk.